Hey, hey everybody, Manny G is here, and in today's video, I will show you how to create a sports block. After watching this video, you will be able to create a website that looks like this. And if you don't have any coding or programming skills, it's no problem because you don't basically need to have one. And uh, make sure to stick around, don't skip any part of this video because by watching this video to the end, you will be able to create any sort of website, not only a sports block, any sort of block, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. If you're wondering how much it costs you to start a sports blog, there's only one fee involved in this whole process, and that's the cost for your web hosting. You also get a free domain name once you get the package through the link in the description below. So if you're ready to create your website, let's get started. To create a website, you're going to need a domain name and a web hosting. The domain name is the name of your website, and the web hosting is the place where your website files will be stored. After the domain name, the second thing that you need for your website is web hosting. Web hosting companies provide storage space for a website that is connected to the internet. So your website is nothing more than a directory of files and folders, and you need a space for it. And these companies provide that sort of space for your website. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of web hosting companies out there. And if you go to the WordPress official website, you can see these are the top three uh, web hosting companies that WordPress recommends. And Bluehost is the number one recommended website. Uh, you also get a free domain name using Bluehost. So I do recommend Bluehost as well. And I'll leave a link in the description below where it gets you to the Bluehost official website. So this is the Bluehost official website. And as you can see, you get a free domain name for the first year, free SSL certificate, also one-click WordPress installation, which makes the whole process of installing WordPress very, very simple, and a 24-7 support, which is great. And it doesn't cost you much, only $3.95 a month. So you can also go for free domains, which I don't recommend because, look, um, if you think of this website as a digital asset that can bring you money every single day once your website getting is getting ranked, I think spending a little money upfront, definitely worth it. Now click on this little green button that says get started and go to hosting selection page. Here you can choose the plan that you want and if you are just starting out you probably want to go with the basic plan and if you if you think you can you are going to have more than one website you probably want to go with the plus or the other one. Uh, it's up to you but for now I'll probably go with this basic $3.95 a month package and click on this select green select button which I do recommend going with .com and click next. If you're not sure what will be the name of your website, what will be the domain name of your website, you can click I will create my domain name later and you can add it later on. You're still going to get the domain name for free for the first year. So here and uh, fill in the account information, pretty self-explanatory, nothing really special. On the package that you want, you probably want to go with 36 months, which is cheaper. And when you scroll, once you scroll down, you want to uncheck this box, uncheck this box as well. And you can have the domain privacy if you want. I do recommend that you can have it if you want and scroll down, put in your credit card details and check this box, accept the terms and terms of service and click submit. Then you're going to land on this receipt page and you're probably going to have a different receipt based on the package that you choose. Scroll up and click on this blue create account button. And once we get here, get your domain name entered and create a password. Make sure to make note of the password because you're going to need it to log in into your account. Check this box, terms of service, and create accounts. Now our account is ready to go and just click on go to login button. Now enter your domain name and the password you just created and click on login. And once you get to this point, we got to set all this stuff up later inside WordPress. So you got to scroll down and click on skip this step for now. That will automatically start to install WordPress for your website. After the WordPress is installed, you will land on the Bluehost dashboard. By now you have successfully set up your website. We just need to set up a couple more things and build our site. And now we're going to hover the mouse over to my site section and click on it. This will load your site. And once your site is loaded, you got to Hover the mouse over the login button to log into your WordPress account. So this is how the dashboard of your website should look like. Here is where we add posts, we add pages, media, 
uh, we add we change the look or the theme of your website we can add and install plugins and make all the changes here which I'm going to talk about later on in this video uh, in order to directly access the dashboard of your website all you need to do is to add this wp-admin to the end of your domain name and this may ask you for username and password to log in and the username and password will be the same username and password that you have created while you were installing the WordPress. Um, before we add any content, posts and pages to the website, let's go back, let's go to the settings section and click on permalinks. You can see the plane is selected. This is basically the URL, how the URL actually looks and click on post name. This will help your URL look nicer, cleaner, and also it helps with the SEO of your website. So after you select that, click on save changes. Now let's see how the actual website looks before we change the theme or the look of the website. Type in the URL of your website and this is how the website looks. Pretty simple, pretty clean. There's no content in it. And now it's time to change the look of this website. In order to change the theme of our website, we need to go back to our WordPress dashboard. Hover over appearance and click on themes. Click on add new. And as you can see, we have so many options to choose from. There's so many nice themes, free themes that you can use. But the theme that I'm going to use for now is called generate press. Search for generate press and this is the theme that I'm going to use this is probably one of the fastest free themes that you can use for your website click on install and activate now click on visit site and as you can see the theme or the look of this website completely changed with a click of a button so this is a free theme, but if you want to unlock the premium features of this theme, I'll leave a link in the description below to the premium version of this theme if you want to access to those features. And now it is time to add content to our website. So we want our blog to look something like this. And this website is also using Generate Press. And if you go to the top 50 sports blog, you can see this website is basically sitting at number 10. So you can see even solid blogs are using this theme as well. So if you decided to go with the premium version, all you need to do is to go to the generate press that you can go through the link in the description below. Log into your generate press account and download this GP premium plugin. Go back to your dashboard, hover over plugins, add new, and now upload plugin. And here, all you need to do is just drag and drop the plugin that you just downloaded. Install now and activate plugin. And scroll down and go to GP Premium Configure. And here, update, just put in the license key and save it. And now you will receive all the updates and enable other features of this plugin. It is time to add content to our website. So to, in order to add content, go back to the dashboard and hover over posts. So we got posts and pages. Posts and pages are pretty much the same thing, but pages are the content that doesn't change that much, like about us and contacts us and things like that. But both basically can change all the time. So we go to the posts, add new. So this is the editor for your blog posts. So you can see the first thing you can see is add title. So in order to add title, you can see a normal blog post looks something like this. It is full of images and content and a couple of, couple of links, okay? So here, this bit is the title. So I just put it here, it can be the title. And the content, this is the content, you can just Put in your content, don't copy from anywhere because your website is not gonna get ranked if you copy stuff. And in order to add image, okay, come up, click here and tap in image. You can see, click on here. 
you can either upload it or add it from your media library. For now, I'm just going to upload it. So this is the image that I just uploaded. If you would like to add more elements to your blog, you can simply click on this little plus button, browse all and add whatever you want. You can add like codes or lists and other stuff, a gallery, a video. If you'd like to add a, a YouTube video, simply just add the video and insert the URL and that's it. In order to add a link to your content, simply select the part that you would like to add link to and click on this little link button, add the URL here. And it's better to open a new tab. I do recommend it and click on this and you got a new link. Okay. Now that you created your content, it's time to publish it and let's see how our website actually looks. So click on this publish button and publish it. Now click on this view post button and you can see how our website actually looks. It looks very professional, I'll say, and it looks very similar to the, um, original blog sports al dente. Okay. It looks exactly the same, right? And this is our website. You can see in this website, uh, we got this top menu that categorizes the content based on different categories and we can do that as well. So we need to go back to our dashboard. And here, hover over posts, we can add the categories either through the category button here, or we can go to the actual post and categorize it as well. So in this case, we go into this post and let me just scroll down. You can see here, we got categories. This post is uncategorized. We can add a new one. You can put in NBA, add a new one. Or we can put in football and add a new one. So we can categorize this post as football and then update it. And if you would like to add this category to the top menu, like here, that you got it here, uh, we can go back to the dashboard, hover over the appearance, menus, and here, we got these categories. Okay. So you can see all the categories that we added are basically added here as well. So we can go and add football to the menu. So it is added here. You can just drag it and put it as item number three and save menu. Let's go back to our website one more time. And you can see this football is added to the top menu as well. Okay, and once you click on this, it categorizes all the posts that are categorized as football. That's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to start your sports blog today. And you can see this website that is sitting at top 10 result of the top 50 sports blog look exactly the same as the blog that we just created. And all you need to do is to follow the steps in this video and put in the content to create your first sports blog just right now. Now that you know how to start a sports blog, you probably need to have a business email for your blog as well. So make sure to check out the next video on how to create a free business email using the current hosting that you're using. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, share, comment. And if you like this sort of content, make sure to subscribe and tap that little bell so you will be notified of the next video that's released. When I release it, see you in the next one.